Dallas. Kate and Kevin are over there, and I'm gonna show them to you in a little bit. But we are on our way to Las Vegas for an interesting episode. So, so far, we have been doing um, episodes for our trafficking series in in cities where we were covering basically dealing with the, oh, hi! See, okay, he came in earlier. But anyway, so we've been, we've been talking um, about certain issues where basically focusing on the problems and um, how people are going about alleviating the issue. But in Vegas, we are doing an episode on the debate revolving sex work and the legalization of it and if that helps alleviate trafficking or not. Um, it's going to be super interesting because we are going and we are talking to sex workers who do this um, illegally and we are also visiting brothels in Carson City uh, that are selling sex legally. So there's different ways of going about this and different perspectives. Um, so this has been a debate that's been going on for a long time and I'm really excited that we are going to be showing you kind of the behind the scenes and more of an in-depth look of what this debate really looks like. And I'm gonna make Kate and Kevin say hi to you guys now. Okay, say hi guys. Hi. Hi. Are you guys excited to go to Vegas? Um, not my favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it, folks. Catch up. People will get mad at you. I mean, that's true. So we're at, so we did a really sketchy walk to a place, what's it called? Firefly. The only place we could eat close by. But I forgot to vlog any of it, so here's the food, or the cheesecake, the cake at night. Cinnamon biscuits, over easy. What are these called? I don't even know. It was like um, huevos montoleros. That? Yes. And a truffle sandwich. We are at Eat in Las Vegas. Um, it literally is described as the breakfast and lunch joint. And Kevin's friend recommended it. It looks amazing. So we're about to grub. And then I'll show you guys the outside because there's like really cool art and everything. So, Kate, I have a vlog on, so don't say anything terrible. <laughs> okay, so Adam is in the UK right now, so he took my steamer and I was gonna get a new one and I didn't have time to, so I have to use the hotel iron. And because I already put my makeup on and put this on and it's white, this is how I'm ironing my sweater. If anything happens, you guys will see it. So earlier we had breakfast at this place called Eat. And since we had a later shoot, or we have a later shoot, that's supposed to happen now, well in an hour, I'm gonna call our, our contact to see if she is, she hasn't answered me. So I feel like that's like one of the scariest things of just traveling and like, and traveling for a story is I have like this fear that the person we're supposed to interview, like what if they're just like, they just never answer and you flew all the way here with a whole team and they don't answer so. Anyway, hopefully that's not gonna happen. Also, I have her address so we would show up. But let's see if she answers. Oh shoot, her phone is off. Oh, okay, it's going through. Hold on. Hey, Sammy, it's Noor. I was just calling um, about the shoot in an hour or so. Just wanted to make sure um, three or four was still a good time for you. Just give me a call back when you can. Okay, bye. So she didn't answer. I'm going to send her another text in a bit. Oh! <laughs> So we're the grumpies now. So everybody can That's use their Google thing, Maps though. today. By the way, guys, Eric is officially here. The whole Later. team is here. So we are on our way to um, one of our sources to do an interview, but she hasn't been answering um, any of the calls or texts. And I told you guys earlier, that's kind of like one of my fears. So we do what the journalists do best and just show up places and see what happens. So I'll let you guys know. But of course, before we do that, we are going to have 
some coffee, taking some notes. And yeah, wow, this light looks amazing. You look good. You look good. Also, Eric got a haircut. I saw that. It's here. I fucking hate car plays so much. Dad, mom. So update on um, the interview that we were supposed to do. So she just texted us um, a little bit ago. Turns out they were just waking up. It's about 4 p.m. We were supposed to do the interview around three. Um, but last night there was like a really popping event um, in Vegas that we wanted to shoot, but we weren't given permission to. Anyway, because of that event, they were out until like 8 a.m. And so um, we're just chilling in the car right now waiting until we hear back for when we can go and do the interview. So these are the things, especially when you're traveling, like doing interviews on the person's time um, because you really need the story and so you just kind of have to be patient with that. Meanwhile, we just do work in the car and drink a lot of coffee and eat a lot of snacks. Still no response, two hours later. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can see from the light, um, a few hours have passed since we were, it's six o'clock right now. We were supposed to do the interview with um, our source and other girls who are sex workers. Um, we were supposed to do that interview at 3 p.m. But last night was a really big strippers event that they were all at and so they woke up at four and um, things just aren't panning out right now which happens because um, people have lives and we're not always a priority so in these scenarios you kind of have to make do and just shift things around and so right now we're going back to Vegas so right now we're outside of Vegas so we're going back to Vegas and um, we're doing some shots that Kevin have has listed out for the series and this episode in particular as well. And then um, we have a chance that we'll be doing this interview tomorrow, but we can't bank on that just yet. Um, but we also have a contact, a couple of contacts of um, escorts in the Vegas area that might come through so we don't know. But at the end of the day, like we came here um, specifically to interview Dennis Hoff at a, uh, at his brothels as well as like girls who were working there and so if we really need escort interviews then of girls who are doing this illegally it doesn't have to be in Vegas but that would be ideal so things like this happen but we just you know keep on keep on figuring it out so Lotus of CM recommended to us by Bobby Hundreds. Actually, he recommended this the last time I came to Vegas. Um, but there's a 45 minute wait, and that's just been what we've been doing lately. I have a question. So this is really interesting for a vlog. How would you guys like to see this as like kind of part of a series episode? Like, like would you like to see the background of like, we got denied over and over again, and we waited in a car for a couple hours. Like, I think that could be cool. I think that also think that? makes people appreciate like when you have a 10 minute episode you know that hours went into this and like right. we didn't get every single interview and that we sweated in 108 degree weather. <laughs> yeah. And I think that I think a lot of people like Your don't trust journalists. <laughs> oh my god. I think sometimes there's a problem with trust in media because like you don't see this behind the scenes stuff and you don't really understand like how this happens and yeah. how much work goes into it to like get people a story so like it looks like we just showed up at people's houses and people's places like now we have our feelers out for other potential interviews but that's all based on other people's schedules and if they're even willing to talk to us especially with an episode like this where we are talking about something that is illegal yeah. um or for instance with this right now like we're talking about the possibility of maybe having to go to an anonymous interview, which we don't like to do because I think it kind of hurts transparency. Yeah. 
especially like for viewers it's like well why did this person not talk to you and how trustworthy is it like who is this person that's so yeah, that's kind of an ethical question we have right now where we're having a lot of trouble getting people to talk to us so we're thinking okay worst case scenario we can offer this but we hope we don't have to yeah and I think that it'll make a big difference especially in this episode because we are covering the legal side of prostitution and we are going to a brothel that getting this interview is so important to us and especially getting it in Vegas like we would love to do that just because a lot of people think that this is something that is legal here in Las Vegas and it's not and so the juxtaposition of those two interviews would be really great yeah but to see the illegal side yeah. as well we'll yeah. see back to the waiting game back in Vegas um, I was here a couple of months ago and had really not great experience just because I got really sick um, and I don't know this place is I don't feel the best here but just an interesting you know scene all the lights and stuff it's about 9 something like past 9 p.m. and we're gonna be shooting some stuff for our intro and for the episode um, since the interview stuff didn't really go through right now or is that something? I don't know. Okay. Spanish and Kate had an entire conversation so what exactly is it like for them yeah so he was saying that he's been working that job for two years they work eight hours a day and he said they don't pay very well and sometimes they just don't pay them so he's the they were the ones that were handing out the cards like here get an escort yeah so, they have a their shirts red hot escorts so it's just like and then they give out these cards of prices and pictures I don't know if these are the actual pictures of the girls but yeah and he said that they yeah. are undocumented so they have problems with people paying them because they're working illegally so. Been shooting promos and intros to the series for the past couple hours in like this Vegas heat. I'm going to get water bottles because I'm like parched and um, yeah, it's just been kind of crazy. It's late, we're super tired, and on top of all that, we have a super early shoot tomorrow. And on top of all of that, like the, sh the interview that I needed for today didn't go through, so it's like super late at night but I'm still trying to bank on seeing if we're gonna get one tomorrow before we leave to Carson City so it's a lot and I'm super tired and my face is melting but anyway I'm on like a mission to find water so yeah there's that it's not always easy guys like actually it isn't really ever easy like it's fun but when you're in the shooting mode is that like the arrow to Starbucks I don't know where I'm going. Anyway, when you're like in the shooting mode, it's just like go, go, go. Like you guys wouldn't see this, but um, when we were filming some of the PTCs, which are pieces to camera, piece to camera, there was people who were coming up to the camera like spitting and like making faces and trying to like mess us up, which is annoying because one, it's not live TV, so why are you even doing that? But also it was just like, drunk disrespectful people and I just kind of shouted like why to one guy and he like cursed at us and was like because I want to so stupid things but I am so freaking thirsty it's not even funny day three in Vegas so today we have an interview with an expert who has been doing research on brothels and legal sex for like 10 years or 12 years or something like that um so we're going to our house and we're doing that interview and we are going to still try to get an interview with um, an escort who does this illegally. 
And so instead of leaving right after our interview with the expert, we're gonna have to stick around in Vegas to see if anything comes through. There's most likely it won't, especially with the time crunch, but that's just kind of how the game works. So instead of driving these seven hours to Carson City early so we can get there early, um, oh my God, I do not want to figure it my lint roller. Just found that on the ground. Um, but instead of being able to get there early, we're just gonna have to get there late for the slight chance we might get the interview. So, yeah, wish us luck. So we're like, trying come out to of this go. House and, like, direct to get out. Okay, Eric. So, <laughs> so we're trying to go to a Starbucks. Um, we might have to walk through the drive-through because their driveway is closed, which doesn't make sense because they didn't let us go through the drive-through. But there's clearly a car buying Starbucks in the drive-through. So. Here's us crossing over and possibly walking through. Let's see what happens. But <laughs> things you do as a journalist to get your coffee. So we are setting up for our interview. And look how amazing this art piece is in this house. There's like a drum set with the camera setting up. Kevin's doing his thing where he's like in the zone and all the lighting and all that good stuff. And Kate is producer role. No, no, Kate and our interviewee subject are wearing the same outfit. On the top. I'm just uh, finished. Uh, I think that might be salmon on the inside. I can't quite tell from here. So this is spicy salmon, not spicy tuna. Yes. Shrimp and four and then the Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So this Thank is you. called something wrong and it is the Chef special, so they just bring out something, and all of them had really cool names. So we've been driving. Um, about an hour outside of Vegas and we finally found some civilization so we could fill gas and go to the bathroom and the first thing that we see is a brothel now I really do wonder if we are in from um, I don't know how we would be able to tell but it is a brothel called the alien center so that's where we are right now crazy this is the art of the pimp by Dennis Hoff our first stop is his property. Oh, so how does it feel that our first stop to sit like in civilization in this desert is a brothel slash gas station alien themed? Which is the fact it's that not it's surprising. Named the art of the so. Oh, did you not know that he wrote this book? No, I know. I mean, it's just that's like, yeah, that's why he calls himself. I have not read it, but I but it's like on Amazon, and it's he's very it's like a very. He's very proud of it. I don't want to read it. Anyway, I came here because I really have to go to the bathroom. So, oh, they're back there. So we've been driving for hours, and a storm is a coming. We saw lightning strikes and stuff on our way, but we still have how many hours left? Two hours, like about two hours. So we are in somewhere in Nevada and we're at a McDonald's and I haven't had a McDonald's since I was like eight years old and I just got fries and a McFlurry. I know the fries are so good but I just know they're so bad for you because I don't think they're real potatoes. But we're in the middle of nowhere so I'm justifying it by like there's nothing else we can do. What's my favorite candy? What's your favorite candy? Mentos or Skittles? I don't know, it's toss up. And when's your birthday, Eric, so people can send them to you? April 11th, and my address is... <laughs> Surprise. You want a Mentos? The way you do it. Yes. Kate, you want a Mentos? No. Kevin? You take the french fry. Oh, Thank delicious. you. delicious. And you dip it. No, it won't last more than like the next five minutes.
Earlier I made woo out of the water bottle. That's what we did. Help me out. This is like an outburst if you eat like six pieces. I don't really eat rice like that. Sizzling. Sizzling. Oh, very vegetarian. <laughs> Brand new white shoes. <laughs> and then this trip. Good luck. We are at. Lake Tahoe area and this is the first time I'm ever running with any of them and I'm so gonna get lost because I don't run. I'm not a runner so never ran before really. I don't think I actually ever have like a trail or a hike like this so of course I lost everyone but look how pretty the view is. So there was two paths up there. One that went up and one that went to the water. So I assume they would take the one that went to the water, but I don't see or hear anything. So yeah. It's so pretty though. We found a puppy in the water. How good do you think that feels for him? So good. There he goes. Oh, that I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes again. Thank you. <gasps> Thank you. You're so pretty. I know you're a boy. Now. Don't want to be called pretty, <laughs> but you're pretty. Okay, you want to catch it? Uh, He's ready. I'm so <laughs> Look, another dog. I'm already committed. <laughs> Come here, Cosmo. I feel like with all that, like it must feel so good. We're jumping this way. Yeah, other dogs more important than the ball. No, come here. <laughs> So I usually don't ever drink tap water, but this water is coming from the snow of Lake Tahoe, so let's see if it's all the hype. Mm, that's so cool. in the little cabin. So we are officially at the Bunny Ranch and this is like part of a bunch of brothels in the area and we're going to be interviewing Dennis Hoffman, some of the girls who work here. Um, I'll share some stuff that's no, already no, happened. No, it was actually, we were very lucky. But in a bit. It's president? Yep. So, yeah. Is there a... We went for office. Is that why you change parties? I want change in Nevada. I went around here in about 78. Uh, Kaufman says, get us, buy this place. You treat everybody like you and I are being treated. It's going to be Dennis Hoff's world famous Moonlight Red Bunny Ranch. Just sex and adventure because it's as much about the adventure as it is about the sex. Look at all the fun we have here. We're not always in the room, we're laughing, we're having fun with the girls. And the lights went on as, as a businessman. I said, Yeah, so it took me to 92 to buy it, which is 27 years ago, 26 years ago. So, just wrapped up an interview with famous Dennis Hoff. Dennis Hoff. Be it, it, famous or infamous? You choose. Okay. Infamous. In, the infamous Dennis Hoff, and we're about to tour the ranch and all of this you guys are going to see on one of the episodes of, um, of the series coming out. I couldn't have asked for a better post-shoot meal 
Kate and I already know what's up. So we're staying in a casino hotel and we're super thirsty, need to get water. So this is Kate's outfit, wolf shirt. Oh, <laughs> pajama shirts, Birkenstocks. And I'm like, I'm Salaya from Saudi Arabia. Which is the first time I ever saw Norma. <laughs> Came down the stairs in this air museum in Seattle and I was like, why are you wearing like a formal gown right now? Me and Kevin were like, what? If any, everybody yeah, knows what pajamas. this is, it's yeah. literally, that's the funniest thing. And then I'm wearing socks and sandals. <laughs> oh, and just like flash my whole ankle. <gasps> scandalous. But not as scandalous as everything else we just saw today. So I feel like I'm immune to all of that. So we finished Ooh. the shoot in the brothel and I feel like I don't want to, give away too much because a lot of this is going to be in the episode but it was definitely um, a very surreal experience and I feel like we all have just constantly been talking about it and there's no like conclusion or opinion that we've made it's just fascinating straight journalism straight observation observation we're taking it to the root of things oh and I didn't mention this but we're getting the water bottle out of it Hey friends, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and of course, subscribe. And don't forget to hit me up on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. See you guys on the next one.